We really need to rename 2024 the year of revelation. On my February 2024 bingo card, I certainly did not have Diddy, Meek Mill, and Usher in a freak off as one of the options to select. Meek Mill and Usher are being accused of sleeping with Diddy, and this is coming from a new lawsuit with a male accuser. His son, Justin Combs, has also been named in that. And so now all of the NDAs that have his mother's name and his son's name in it make sense. I don't know who Diddy pissed off because Diddy has been at the top for some time. And you don't get there by yourself. There's no such thing as a good billionaire. Sorry, even Rihanna. You did something to get to that point. All right. It's required of you. You have to make some sacrifices to get to that point. So my question is this. Actually, I have a few questions. Question one, they're not in any particular order of importance. Who did Diddy align with to get to this level? Two, who did Diddy piss off at that level to get knocked back down? Three, who does he owe? And four, is this some fall of the house of Usher type stuff? Remember in Fall of the House of Usher? Remember this show? This little mini-series? Remember the spirit that they made a contract with? And the spirit said, you will see success of your wildest dreams. So she told them that what their outcome would be. And they said, fuck it. Let's go. Let's do it. Who cares? Sometimes they put in plain sight in the form of entertainment exactly what the hell is going on. To me, this looks like Diddy's very own Fall of the House of Combs in the fashion and style of Fall of the House of Usher. What do you think? Get in the comments, like, comment, share, and let me know.